Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez, I'm from GetCon. We continue with this first season, try to speak in about some products that it could improve your workflow in your processes. And for now, we're talking about what is a BIM 360 Autodesk and what difference are in this particular product. If we try to understand what is BIM 360, I try to simplify the description starting with that is a service that provides Autodesk that you can storage your data and you can collaborate with another person in this particular project. In, in the traditional way that you uh, collaborate with, a, with the person or with another discipline in a project, you use the, the server. Usually the big companies or the medium companies have your own services that they have some folders that you can put an specific information about one particular project. The another way is using uh, the cloud platform. There are uh, many of this particular service that has more time in the construction or in the project management usage. Bin 360 try to put in in a place in this particular service, allowing to store your information, review your BIM models, your documents, your PDF, and try to create some workflow that it could be reduce your time to doing some certain process. The particular thing that Autodesk BIM 360 has is that it tries to reply that what is a common data environment. He tried to uh, create some process in all the life cycle of the project that you can use for increase your productivity. The principal focus is in the design and pre-construction processes, but he tried to amplify his service to the field execution and had over operation. Uh, some time ago, there was a lot of service name from BIM 360 Autodesk, but in 2018, these services has a, a great change about that. And the principal change has that it was built by the Autodesk Forge platform. This platform is a very powerful system that allowed to integrate the programming information that improved your uh, usage for a, a certain process. This service Try to use the internet and the power form in this platform to create a complex processes. For this particular thing, uh, you don't need to use a, a great a complex computer that allow cap uh, complex processes. You only need to plug in internet. It has a little uh, services that it help to improve your productivity in your creation of project. For example, you can create a reality capture and you storage in B360. You can do some processes about the cost management, the field management, the layout, estimating, a uh, construction management, bid management, scheduling, takeoff, design checking, accounting, and another uh, services. Like you see, these particular elements apply in different part of the life cycle of the project. If you already use before a uh, BIM 360, you can see that there has a little change uh, since 2018. The service named BIM 360 team and BIM 360 dot, they merge each other and they create a one model named BIM 360 dot. And the service that you name Collaboration for Revit now is name is BIM 360 Design. And the particular thing is that you can collaborate in the cloud with a Revit project. And the BIM 360 Glue is now named BIM 360 Collaborate. And BIM 360 File now is named BIM 360 Build. And these four uh, different modules has behind the platform from Autodesk Forge. Now we have another two services that for now is not using behind this platform, but maybe in the future integrate. Uh, the names are uh, BIM 360 plan that it, it use uh, some lean construction processes like last planner system. And you have the BIM 360 ops that you can use for 
maintenance and operation construction project. Now, if we go to the page on BIM360, we have some examples about what you can do. And example said that reduce risk, improve quality, and deliver project on time on budget uh, because you have the information contained in about the storage that it can allow us to know what are the changes. For example, uh, you can centralize your project information. You can put restriction in what person can open this particular folder. Uh, you have the dom document management, or you can see what change are. For this example, you have the the green, like was all the new element that they create in this particular project, the red and the yellow information. You can see the class detection in the cloud and you can obtain a uh, metrics and data and analytics. You can see how it's moving your particular project, where are you spend more effort to do that. And now we can see what the difference are between this particular four modules that BIM360 has. BIM360 Docs, BIM360 Design, BIM360 Coordinate, and BIM360 Build. And the platform for all of them is a BIM360 Docs. It's like the document management all the modules have. You can see all the information that you can obtain for BIM360 Docs is implemented in all the service in the BIM360 design, coordinate, and build. This is like the cheaper service that you can obtain. This is more like the BIM Dropbox where you can store your information. You can watch uh, your publish and view your document. You can support any file, file type in this particular storage cloud. You can assign a standard or custom attribute to the file. You can connect with BIM360 Cloud Work workspace to your desktop and file synchronizing. You can publish a link XREF uh, file for Autodesk Element. You can track every, every update, include automatic slip sheetings to maintain a current set. You can view a previous version. This is a particular great thing that you can what change are from one version to another version, what are changes and see if these particular changes are affecting in your discipline. Then you have the real-time Revit collaboration. Like I said, uh, BIM360 design, these are now the module that it can allow that you were sharing with another person in the cloud using Revit. And for the another modules, they uh, have some less features that they can do, but this particular a service is if you are already working with another person, you don't need to use a Revit server or a server for your own. You only need to uh, contract uh, this subscription. You, uh, you can have the real time collaboration for Revit. Uh, for coordination, like the principal platform that you can use is BIM360 Coordinate. Uh, you have uh, you can merge publish model in the cloud. You can upload model to coordination folder and get immediately view of identified clashes and you can filter clashes by model discipline or user to speed the process of class resolution then you have more information about with the pre-construction or the construction processes like design constructability review project control cost management quality and safe management and report and dashboard. Uh, this is full for BIM360 build that is more related with the pre-construction and construction cycle life. And you can share information about your mobile access with some restriction in another three models. Like uh, you can see, you can watch the 2D and 3D elements in your phone or your tablet to sync live offline. And for the build, you can see the complete quality and safe checklist and you can create and view and manage her fei all the platform allows to have a project setups and permissions and the user management you can define team workspace separate folder for each team's data and share folder for the data that all teams can reference use etc and we have the integration with forge 
API. For this particular thing, it's very useful because you can put uh, some plugins that in the traditional way you can don't use in Bin360. But now uh, with Forge API, you can put in your particular element. Now, if we're talking about the prices, if we go to the prices, uh, all the prices are different between these particular services. And like you can see, the cost per month per user is the $35. Uh, it's depend about the, the service. For example, for the docs, the build, the coordinate, the more expensive is the Bin360 design that it's allowed to create a uh, word sharing in real time with your uh, Revit project. But for the another one, you have a different cost. For example, the cheaper is the Bin360 doc. It's a pen what are your, your tasks that you need to do. And if you want to know more about the Bin360 design, behind in the description, I give you this particular list that it show what are the particular future that you can use for Bin360 design. And you can see what the difference are between way to collaborate in your project and the difference between Bin360. In this case, Bin360 design or Bin360 docs. Thank you very much for watching us. And